Welcome back to Thistle Hill Farmstead. Today we're out with the little chickens that we have in uh, the garage in a little container here. Well, we've been raising them a bit and I think they're big enough now that we can move them out to the big chicken coop. So I'm gonna do that today, so come along with me. So here are our next batch of chicks. If you follow the channel, you'll know that uh, this is kind of a replacement batch for a group that we got um, a while back and we had them out in the big chicken coop as little chicks and something got in the coop. I'm not sure what it was, but unfortunately it um, killed them all and ate them, I guess, because they were gone. We went out one morning, all of them were gone, except notice this kind of big gray one here. She was the only one that survived out of the 10 that we had before. All of the rest of these are replacements. So we thought this time we would keep them in, uh, in this container. This is a watering trough container. We had them in here and uh, they've gotten big enough where we've had to put this screen over the top. And as you can see, they're kind of crowded in here now. They're pooping all over everything. They're pooping all in their water. So I want to move them out today into the big coop. So I'm going to take them out of here. I'm going to put them into this little tub here. And I'm going to put the towel over it because I can't find the top to that thing. But we'll try that and uh, see how it goes. Then we'll ride them out to the big coop and uh, let them be able to stretch their legs a bit. Okay, I think we're ready to try to catch some of them, get them in. One's already tried to fly the coop, as we say. It flew out here and tried to get out. Let me move some of this out of the way. All right, little guys, come here. Who's gonna be first? Okay, yeah, see, they're getting pretty big. All right, all right, all right. Stay in there. Let's get another one. Man, they're fast now. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, they've gotten pretty quick. Okay, 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 okay. Man, you would think. Sounds like we're... Oh, you were pretty easy. What do you think, Charlie? You like the little chicken? Check this one out. She's got a little uh, little feathers on the top of her head. You want to see her? Okay. Now this is the big one that has kind of survived from the first. kind of calming down now that we have less in the bucket or in the pen here I think because they're not running around as much okay 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 and one more to go okay all right we got them all let's put them on the back of the buggy And I'll get their feed and all this stuff and we'll take out there with us. Okay, we're out here at the coop now. And uh, I want to uh, give the chickens some food. Alright, 
they're taken care of. Now I want to go over and we'll fix the door on this little coop so that uh, the other chicks don't get out. Let me put you right here. And you see that door there. Okay, let's put the little chicks in the coop. We're going to be excited to have some leg room. Stretch their legs. Alright, ladies. Close the door here so they don't run out. Okay, let's go. Everybody out. There's the easy way. All right, everybody out. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, guys. What do you think? You like your new gigs? Okay, so we'll put this big bucket of water in here so they can learn to drink out of these little nipples on here. Put it right over here. It will be easy to refill, and they'll have to learn to drink from these little red, red drinker things here. Well, the chickens are kind of checking them out, trying to figure out what's going on. There's Hoppy, this little chicken right here, who you see kind of hopping around. She's been lame or moving like that for years and we didn't expect her to make it very long we thought she might get picked off by a hawk or something else but she's outlived a lot of the other ones well, it is very surprising but we call her hoppy because she gets along and she does just fine okay let's get them some food in there oh they're doing good they're running around like some crazy chickens now One is really liking it already. She's just bathing there. See that she's kicking the dirt all up on herself. That's the way the chickens keep the mites and the, all the dirt off of them. They'll, <laughs> oddly enough, they'll lay in the dirt and uh, just kick the dirt up on top of them. And the rest of them are running around a lot and enjoying stretching their legs and now there's two of them down in that little hole trying to uh dust bathe so i guess they're enjoying being outside and being able to be chickens for a change instead of being in that tub so this time i did bring two live traps that we have out i've got one here and then i've got one over here on the other side and uh, I'll set those tonight just in case anything comes back and uh, thinks they want to attempt getting the chicks. Now, the, the larger chickens, they get up on the roost. Like, they roost on these bars here. And then you see a lot in here. They'll come in at night and they'll roost up on those bars. So there's not many things that can get in here and get them. Uh, and then there's roosting bars inside the coop. And there's roosting bars inside of this coop too but it's uh, they're a bit too tall for the little chicks to use right now so we'll just try our best to uh, keep any critters from trying to get the new chicks well that was just a quick little video on moving the uh, the chicks out of the garage out here into this pen and hopefully they're big enough this time uh, I don't think if a snake gets in there again, 
they're definitely big enough to be able to get away from it and uh, I don't think hopefully it won't happen again and uh, but that's part of having chicks in a farm you do the best you can uh, the old saying is this chicken wire is meant to keep the chickens in not the predators out but uh, we'll see how they do this time